Montezuma Castle National Monument invites you into the world of the Southern Sinagua people, who flourished in the Verde Valley hundreds of years ago. These productive farmers grew corn, beans, squash, and cotton using techniques like canal irrigation. The Southern Sinagua lived principally by farming and supplemented their stable crops by hunting and gathering. Their surroundings offer an abundance of resources, including water from the rivers and streams, fertile land, and sufficient game, including deer, antelope, rabbit, bear, muskrat, and duck to augment the diet that relied heavily on corn. Hey, there's one of the perks of uh, traveling whenever during COVID-19 lockdown. <laughs> you Basically, we don't have to pay a fee to be here. That's pretty awesome. And here are the drawbacks. There's no restrooms. <laughs> Thank goodness we're traveling in a motorhome. We have our own restroom. Skilled Southern Sinagua artisans fashion stone tools like axes, knives, and hammers, as well as monos and matates for grinding corn. Here's the trail leading to Montezuma Castle. So excited. There's the first glimpse of the castle right there. And this is a little bit spooky. <laughs> it's a picture of a rattlesnake, I believe. Smile. <laughs> Boy, the grass is so dry. And there is the castle. Southern Sinagua farmers built this five-story, 20-room dwelling sometime between 1100 and 1300. It occupies a cliff recess 100 feet above the valley floor. Early American settlers marveled at its structure. They assumed that it was Aztec in origin, hence the name Montezuma Castle. We've got nice seating areas, nice trails. It's a little bit warm. What builders may do with local materials for their problems. The limestone on Montezuma Castle is fairly soft and splits unevenly. Yet Montezuma Castle, protected from the elements, was so well built that it has stood for over 700 years and is one of the best preserved prehistoric structures in the Southwest. Of down below as well. Cool. So I guess this is what it looked like in its prime. from the inside out, <laughs> if you could see through walls. That's really cool with the different colors of bark. Look mm how -hmm. big around that one is. Pretty awesome little grove of trees. More sycamore trees? Surprisingly unafraid of humans. Probably get fed at times. Warm enough for you? Got it. It's nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, they made us turn off our generator because this is a uh, because of the fire danger. We can't um, have any motors running while you're visiting the site, and so when we get back to the motorhome, it's going to be close to 965 degrees in there. 
but at least it's not too far away and it doesn't take very long to look at this site. So um, it should cool down pretty quick once we get the generator going. High light, it's only 87. And it says it's 107 outside, but I think that's just because we're getting some engine heat. Montezuma Castle National Monument is only 50 miles south of Flagstaff, Arizona, off of I-17, and is a great detour with good access for RVs and cars alike. There's the Cliff Castle Casino. And yeah, we're just gonna stay with it. <laughs> I'm not even sure it's open because of all the COVID stuff, but I do see people going in there, so maybe you can go in there.